How's it going guys, Oz Gamer here, welcome back to another top 50 player ratings video for FIFA 17. Uh, we've done 50 to 30 to 31, no 21 I believe. Yeah, so we'll go watch those in the last few videos. Um, and now we're getting into the top 20, so we're doing 20 to 11 right now, and hopefully in the next few days we'll get into the top 10. Anyway, the first one is Pepe here, he's gone up by a plus 4 overall. In terms of his stats, he's gone down two in pace, he's gone up two in defending, down two in physical, and uh, down two in passing. So, t kind of deserved, he's always an aggressive player on the field, and uh, plays for Real Madrid as well, so an upgrade is totally deserved for him. Um, and the defending stat is pretty crazy as well, like plus two overall, now he's an 88, so he's going to be an absolute presence on the field in FIFA 17. Anyway, the next one is Higuain. He's gone up plus two overall, and this one is kind of a no-brainer because he's had so many special cards in uh, FIFA 16. In terms of his stats, he's gone down one in pace. Dribbling's still the same. He's gone up one in shooting, up two in physical, and the rest are still the same. Uh, I feel like he should have gone up a bit more in shooting physical, but, um, you know, this is what EA thinks he should get. I feel like he'd be way too OP maybe if he had higher stats than that. Anyway, and the next one is Paul Pogba. Everyone is talking about this guy because he has five-star skill moves now. And I don't really know about this one because I don't really watch him, like, really closely. But I've seen him do four-star skill moves often. So I don't know if five-star is deserved, but EA thinks so, obviously. In terms of his stats, he's gone up one in dribbling, down one in physical, up one in passing, and up down two in defending, sorry. So still a really beast card. I feel like it should be high, high work rates, though. But maybe he'll get that changed within the game. Anyway, and the next one is Antoine Griezmann, another kind of no-brainer. He's gone up plus four overall. He got an upgrade mid mid-year through in FIFA 16, and now he's up plus four. In terms of his stats, he's gone up two in dribbling, up two in shooting, down one in physical, and passing is still the same, but up one in defending. And uh, really, B. Sicardi did really well for Atletico Madrid and totally deserved. Uh, I feel like he should have been higher rating in FIFA 16, but last season was kind of his, like, standout season I would say anyway the next one is Thiago Silva and this guy hasn't changed I don't think I feel like I think his stats are exact same yeah they are exactly the same and uh unsure about this one he's gone up one overall but none of his stats have changed so EA obviously thinks that you know maybe he had an average season which uh is fair enough like he's a beast card anyway look at that 90 defending that's still absolutely crazy so a really good card, and I wonder how he's going to perform now that David Luiz is left PSG. Anyway, the next one is Luka Modric. He has got an upgrade overall. He's gone up by plus two, and uh, this guy is always usually a presence in the midfield, so totally deserved. But he's gone down two in pace. His dribbling is still the same. He's gone up one in shooting, up one in defending, down two in physical, but up two in passing. And he's just still, still a four-star, four-star. And he's a high medium as well. I feel like that should be changed. I feel like it should be a high high because of his work rates in the midfield. But a uh, really beastly card, especially for Real Madrid. Anyway, the next one is another Real Madrid player, Ramos, who's gone up plus two overall. And this guy is always just a beast. He just keeps getting better with age. And uh, in terms of his stats, he's gone down one in pace. He's gone up five in dribbling, which is really cool. And uh, defending still the same. He's gone down two in physical, down one in passing and up three in shooting. And he's still got high medium work rates. I feel like he should be high high, but I don't really watch him that often, so I don't know how he how he defends and stuff like that. Anyway, the next one is Courtois, one of the higher rated goalkeepers. In, he's an 89 overall. He's gone up by plus three overall since FIFA 16. In terms of his stats, his diving's still the same. He's gone up one in reflexes. He's gone up four in handling, up three in speed, and his positioning and kicking are still the same. So a really beast card. Um, it seems like they've upgraded handling stats a lot in this game. Maybe handling isn't very good or something, or it's kind of underpowered, so they upgrade the handling stats and stuff. But anyway, the next one is Mesut Ozil. He's gone up by plus one overall, and I don't really know about this one. I feel like he's way too overrated. I don't really watch Arsenal, so I don't really know. Maybe he was like a marquee for them in at the camp spot, but... In terms of his stats, he's gone down one in dribbling, he's gone down one in shooting, um, down up one in physical, and down two in passing. So a bit weird, downgrading stats, but upgrading overall. Maybe it's because of his international rep. 
But anyway, into the last one, Sergio Aguero. This one is kind of deserved. I feel like he should be a 90, though, in terms of his performance last season. But he's gone up by one overall. In terms of his stats, he's actually gone down three in passing. And everything else is still the same. He's still a four-star, four-star, high, medium. And uh, a crazy card still, but I feel like he should have gone up maybe a bit more in shooting. Just because I think he got joint top scorer in BPL last season. But anyway... That's pretty much it for this, guys. Um, keep a lookout for the coming days for the top 10. But please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.